Geospatial intelligence to the warfighter is everything. Being able to lay the maps down to get you spatially oriented and then layering imagery on the top of it in a digital world so that you can see where you are and what you're doing. With all this technology available to everyone, the real enemy is time. That's a direct order. Do it now. We have to turn inside the enemy's decision cycle. We have to be able to make the right decision faster than he does. If you're going to use precision guided munitions, you need very precise coordinates. We cannot have collateral damage to anything that's important, safe, and precious. We use geospatial information for route planning. Special forces need to know the best way to get into a compound and get out. There you go, just lay it down. The Buckeye program collects, processes, and disseminates high-resolution terrain data. We use an electro-optical camera along with a LIDAR sensor. We fly it over major routes to extract detailed features of what they're going to encounter on their operation. So how high are the walls? How wide is the road? What's the depth of the ditches? Where are they going to land their helicopter so they're not seen, so they're not heard? We try to give them multiple routes. Is the terrain flat so that they can land easily? We're looking for emplacements of IEDs. Improvised explosive devices, IEDs, are very difficult to detect. We might fly a sensor down a road at one date and time, get a view of what that surface looks like, and then the next day or even hours later, fly over that same route and then see what's been disturbed. Where have IEDs been planted? You can monitor an area continuously to see who planted it, where did they leave from, how'd they get there. You have to understand the hearts and minds. Often what is important to the people relates to the Earth and the Earth's feature and the geography of the Earth. The importance of human geography and human terrain is really in a soldier understanding that aspect of his environment, understanding the culture that he's operating in. Different aspects of society, culture, economic systems, all of these pieces translate onto the physical geography. We look at languages that are spoken in one neighborhood versus another neighborhood. Understanding an education level, we put it onto a map to help explain the complexities. Really fine-grained detail depending on what the commander needs. How can we understand what's important to them so that we're not just doing things that we think are important but may be totally inconsistent with their value systems? That's the, the biggest challenge. We're putting them in harm's way. We owe it to our soldiers to provide them with the, the best information that all of this technology is capable of providing.